Thank you for stopping by my channel. This video is the part two of explaining how T206 printing process. If you haven't seen the first part, make sure you watch the first part of this video. That video explains the, the modern printing plate of modern sports card. I also show a set of progressive proof that shows how each color create each images. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So what I'm showing here is a limestone that were used to print lithography printing. As most of you know, T206 were used lithography back in 100 years ago. And then they did not use any metal plate or aluminum, obviously, but they used limestone. So this is definitely not the original uh, limestone from uh, 100 years ago, but you get the idea. So for this limestone, obviously it's not really in a good shape. I just picked one up on eBay and try to understand or explain to you guys how this lithography printing works. So I always love to use a T206 card as a size of reference. So obviously this uh, printing card is, is an error card that is missing multiple uh, color pigments. This one, for example, it only has the brown color layer, black, and the blue color layer. So, so for this limestone, this is 9 inch by 7 inch and it is 3 inch thick. So in my other video, I explained it, the whole printing process. In order to print a color image, you need to print it all separately. For example, if you want to print a color image with 6 different color, you would have a 6 different printing plate. So with that said, you would have six different limestone like this. So that is really critical because back in 100 years ago, I would assume the quality control is really bad. In order to print all six or seven color aligned correctly, that's a lot of work and that's a high skill of quality control. I'm not surprised back then, printers are getting lazy. They skip one or two color layer and then create like interesting error card like this. Or they may just want to do a uh, color test. They just apply like two to three different color on a testing sheets to see how it turns out. And the obvious examples are those uh, yellow brown scrap. They only have yellow brown and black color on it. And we will study those in the later video because the name that were given to those as a yellow brown scrap they actually have more than just yellow brown color pigment and we will cover that in another video so let's look at this uh, limestone for this limestone i have done some research and i cannot find any of these like company or labels or print out uh, on ebay or google it but i assume these company were back in the uh, 1950s so this stone should not be uh, that old and as you can see the fine line of uh, these uh, images on the plate they are very detailed but at the same time you can tell easily if any of these fine lines get somehow uh, broke or incomplete just like this it will also affect the final image that's why it is so easy to create all those T206 printing errors, especially like the missing letters and and like the frame that is missing part of the corner or something like that. So uh, as you can see, the image on the limestone is a reverse image. So back in the uh, 100 years ago, when the uh, graphic designer uh, create the image, they use a greasy crayon and they drew the image on the limestone and the color that they apply on the limestone would be the reverse image of the final image. So what he drew would not show up on the paper because they use some greasy crayon to draw the image and they use some chemical to etch the image then the printing process would apply uh, the water ink and also would grease so that the simple reaction of water repels to oil and that's how the ink got onto the paper. So with that said, each color would need a limestone like this and the graphic designer would have to draw the same image 
with different details for like six times or up to eight times i would think and so they have to print the image six times without any error which is a very high skill of quality control in the modern days now in order to have a psa 10 jamming t206 with a sharp image which is very difficult so we are not saying it has to be like a sharp corners or anything like that just imagine have a sharp image with all the color aligned correctly that needs some skill and in order to do that they actually have uh, printing marks or registration mark so they can they tell the printer where to align the card and all that and i will cover those printer mark in my other video because there are certain cards they shows the the printer registration mark and that's the guide the printer how and where to cut the card that's why uh, some oversized t206 are interesting to collect because it shows the details and how they were printed back in 100 years ago so as far as i know there were no known t206 limestone printing plate still exists because these limestone is very delicate and they have a very smooth surface and i am pretty sure the printing factory would reuse them so in order to do a new image they just can easily use some sand and polish the surface again and make them smooth again and the graphic designer can just draw a new image on it and at the same time for this one particular you can use it on both sides so for this side the image are not as clear but you can still read cut liver oil and just like what i said before the image is the reverse image of the final product and you can see they can easily damage and scratches and you can see like the frame they don't line up uh completely and that's why it is very difficult to uh make a sharp image using limestone technology for this limestone it is 9 inch times 7 inch and if you want to visualize how a uh, complete limestone would look like when they print those T206 the size of the limestone definitely is bigger than this one and as a bonus I'm going to show you a uncut E91 uh, uh, cards so there are 13 cards on this uh, uncut strip I hope you enjoyed this video and this is part 2 of explaining T206 the forward reprinting process and make sure you subscribe and there's going to be a part 3 to explain more of this in details